So let's talk about a uh, composite function. So um, under composite function, uh, you're going to be given um, more than one function. For example, let's say we have our function f of x to be equal to uh, 2x squared plus 2 and then we also have g of x is equal to x minus 1 then they also give us to say h of x which is going to be equal to 3x okay now sometime they can ask us to say find f of g of x what does it mean okay so when we say f of g of x what it means is that in the function of x where there is x in the function of f where there is x we are going to put the whole function of g so it is f of g okay so in the function of f where there is x we are going to put the whole function of uh, of g okay so in this case the function of um f is a uh, 2x is this one okay now in this function where there is x we are going to put what we are going to put g which is this one okay so we're going to say f of g of x is going to be equal to is going to be 2 then open brackets where there is x we need to put x minus 1 so x minus 1 is the function of g okay then since this x is squared i have to square this plus 2 now i need to find the value here although it's not going to be a value but i need just to simplify it okay so i'm going to have x this is the same as x minus 1 at the same time x minus 1 so x times x is going to be x squared x times 1 is going to be negative x then we're going to have negative 1 times x is going to have to be negative x then we're going to have 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is going to be positive 1 so this is going to be x squared minus 2x plus 1 okay so we're going to have a 2 open brackets we're going to have x squared minus 2x plus 1 okay this is we have plus 2 here now we can simplify this is going to be 2 times uh, x squared is going to be 2x squared minus this is going to give us now a 4x plus a 2 and then plus 2 so our final answer is going to be 2x squared minus a 4x plus 4 so this is the final answer of f of g of x okay now that is part one now let's say maybe they ask us to say find um g of h then they put us x here so what it means there is that in the function of g where there is x we need to put the function we need to put what h okay so what it means is that the function of g is just x minus 1 so where there is x we are going to put 3x because 3x is the function of h so it's going to be 3x minus 1 so there is i can't simplify this so it's going to end there okay now what if i've been given um h of h of f okay i need to find this what it means is that in the function of h where there is x we're going to put in f okay so we are going to have three where there is x now we are going to put f f is a 2x squared plus 2 okay we can simplify this or we can just expand in short it's going to be 6 6x squared plus c uh, 6 so we can end here if you want you can leave it there or you can expand leave it there okay now let's have different thing let's have another question okay let's say we have um, just two functions let's say we have um, f of x to be equal to 2 divided by x then you have g of x 
to be equal to x minus 3. Now let's say uh, we want to find f of g of x. Now like I said, where there is z, in the function of f, where there is x, we are going to put g. Meaning it's going to be 2 divided by where there is x, we are going to put x minus 3. Meaning I can end there. So that is going to be my answer. Now what if they ask us to find uh, g of f? That is going to be the opposite now. So what it means there is that in the function of g, where there is x, we put f. So x, we are going to replace it with that, 2 over x. So it's going to be 2 over x minus 3. As simple as that. So if you want, you can end there. Or you can say that is going to be the same as you have 2 over x minus 3. It's going to be the same as if you say x, then x there, we are going to have 2 minus 3x. Mm, so you can also end here, which is just the same as ending there. Okay. Now let's have a different thing. Let's say we have um, again two functions. We're going to use f and g again. So let's say we have our f to be, let's say f of x is um, 2x plus 3. Then our g of x is um, 2 minus x squared. Okay. Now, if they ask us to find um, f of um, g, then of 0. What it means that if we find f of g, where there is x, we are going to replace it with 0, and then we find the, the value. So, what we are going to do here is, um, first we have to find f of g. Okay. So, if I am to find f of g, what would be my f of g? My f of g of x, be, before I, I plug in 0, is going to be, in the function of f, where there is x, I need to put g. So in this case, we are going to have, this is x, so it's going to be 2. Where there is x, I'm going to put 2 minus x squared plus 3. So this is going to be f4 minus 2x squared plus 3. I can simplify this and say, this is going to be 4 plus 3 is going to be a 7 minus 2x squared. Now they are saying that where there is x now, we are going to replace it with 0. Okay? Meaning that we are going to continue from here. We are going to say 7 minus 2. Where there is x, we put 0. 0, then we square it. So this is going to give us 2 times 0 squared is 0. 0 times 2 is going to be 0. 7 minus 0, we are going to get to what? A 7. So our final answer in this case is going to be what? A 7. As simple as that. Okay. Now, what if they ask us to find uh, g of f, then we say 0. Okay. They ask us to find g of f, then we find 0. So, this is going to be, we find first g of f. So, where in the function of g, where there is x, we are going to put f. g is 2 minus x squared. Now, where there is x, I have to replace with what? 2x plus 3. That is f now. So, it's going to be 2, okay, minus, I'm going now to put this in brackets, 2x plus 3, then I have to square it. So, this is going to be 2 minus, this is the same as 2 times 2 is going to, is 2x times 2x is going to be 4x squared. Then 2x times 3 is going to be plus 6x. Again, 3 times 2x is going to be plus uh, 6x again. Then 3 times 3 is going to give us what? It's going to give us a 9. Okay. So this is going to be 2 minus. This is going to be a 4x squared um, plus a 12x plus 9. I can now distribute the negative, so it's going to be 2 minus 4x squared minus 12x minus 9. So 2 and 9 can go, so it's going to be 2 minus 9 is going to be negative 7. So I'm going to have negative 7 minus 4x squared minus 
um, 12x. Now they are saying that where there is x we put 0. So this is going to be negative 7 minus 4 0 squared minus then we are going to have 12 again 0. So this part is going to give us 0. This part is going to give us 0. So our final answer will end up having negative 7. So that is going to be our answer. Okay. Now we can we can have a different one where we say the same one. Let's let's try to find um, f of f. Then we need to find four. So what it means that f of f in the function of f where there's x we put f again. So our f in this case is a two x. Now where there is x is 2x plus 3. So where there is x we are going to put the same function again. So it's going to be 2 open brackets then 2x plus 3. Then again plus what? 3. Okay. So it's going to be 2. So we can say 2 times 2 is going to give us what? It's going to give us a 4x plus. This is going to be a 6. Then plus 3. Okay. So now uh, we can see that from here is going to be a 4x plus 9. Where there is x we put 4, so it's going to be 4 times 4 plus 9. 4 times 4 is 9. Um, 4 times 4 is 16. Then 16 plus 9 is going to give us a 25. So 25 is the answer in this case. Okay.